Hey guys, Bloomer here. Once again, I want to talk to you about the upcoming playtest. Actually, tomorrow, starting off, playtest 3.0, Revenge of the Rematch. And I gotta say, I love the creative titles these guys come up with. Bad Fox, keep it up. 12 p.m. till 12 a.m. UTC, Saturday and Sunday. So again, they're doing a uh, 12 hours each day, 24 hours over the weekend. I'm pretty happy about that. And there's some big things to talk about. We've got new character, Eve, being released. We've got trooper abilities completely being revamped. We've got all sorts of changes and a revamp to the movement and camera system. So a lot to unpack in a very short video. Let's run through this really quickly. So first things first, the big thing is Eve is being released, which of course means that they have to revamp and rebound a number of the troopers in order to make sure that everyone is competitive and enjoyable to play. They've also changed the way the troopers are going to move and speeding up the tactile feel of the game, smoothing out the abilities and how uh, how the dodge camera works. In addition, they're going to be including more battle pass levels, four new levels adding on to last week's additional five onto the original 10, bringing us to 19 in total right now. This week, you're going to be able to get 200 more super coins, the premium currency in Super Squad. 400 trooper tokens as well as an additional gamer podium. Big fan. And, possibly the coolest part of it all, the Heaven's Champion Eve skin, if you manage to fully complete the battle pass. Eve's stats look like she has 948 health to start. She'll have three dodge charges, and uh, her damage is at 47 per shot. Range of 26 meters, projectile speed 97 meters per second, with a rate of fire of 2.5. Her abilities include Angelic Shot. Eve throws a magical ball at the cursor location with a range of 20 meters. If it hits an ally, it heals them for 20% of their total HP. If it hits an enemy, it deals 15% of their max HP as damage. Restoration Rune. Eve throws a rune on the ground at the cursor location within 22 meters. The rune pulses every 2 seconds and heals any unit for 50 health in a 12 meter diameter per pulse. The turret has 600 health and is destroyed either by depleting its health or killing Eve herself. When aiming the ability for more than 0.3 seconds, the camera will shift slightly up. With the movement system, according to Bad Fox, they've changed the way the move troopers move in game. They used to be accelerating their movement, meaning that when you're trying to do some of those fine tuned dodges, you were lagging a bit when you change direction. They've now put the movement speed of all troopers at maximum acceleration, so you get tight movement when dodging. However, we're accelerating the animations and the camera so that you move fast, but the movement feels and looks a lot smoother. They've also fine-tuned the camera movement on things like the dodge, anchors away, being knocked back, and minor inconvenience to help give each ability or state that feeling of movement while it's happening and the impact at the end of it. Long-range abilities like Hookshot and Reign of Fire also slightly raise the camera while casting them to help give you that tactile information. We're also going to see a game mode rebalance for Strike. Previously, the time to repair and downtime of the power relays got increased by a couple of seconds. And while the change was small, it seemed to make a massive change where players couldn't actually launch a missile. They're rebalancing the variables to help let players actually finish a match. Repair times are changing from 10 seconds to 8, and relay downtime changes from 8 seconds to 6. There's also a mess of trooper balance changes. Sarge, his gun damage has been nerfed from 24 to 22. His cluster grenade range nerfed from 23 meters to 20. Inner explosion damage nerfed from 150 to 110, while the outer explosion damage buffed from 120 to 135. His suppressive fire speed was nerfed from 13 meters a second to 8.5 meters per second. In addition, when the ability is cast, the camera will shift slightly up and angle back. Crow's hookshot range was nerfed from 60 meters to 30 meters. And on one, aiming the ability for more than 0.3 seconds. Again, the camera will be shifting slightly up. Skull Crusher has a small tweak here. His reserve will work the same as it did before. But now, if the ability is pulled while under the minimum health threshold, then 200 base healing is done to everyone in the area. A nice AoE effect now. Nebular has been reworked as well. Psionic Wave now is going to create a high damage area that lasts for 15 seconds or until he dies. Alley troopers within the area deal 25% more damage, and enemy troopers take 25% more damage from all sources. When aiming the ability for more than 0.3 seconds, the camera will once again shift slightly up. Focus was also reworked. Nebular fires a projector at the cursor location with a range of 28 meters, which can hit allies or enemies. 
hits an ally, then it gives them a 25% damage increase for 7 seconds. If it hits an enemy, then it deals 150 damage. The ability has a cooldown of 12 seconds. Scorch's Reign of Fire, he now has the ability to move while casting the ability and is going to land in half the time it previously did. A massive buff for Reign of Fire. Just like the other abilities, when aiming the ability for more than 0.3 seconds, the camera will shift slightly up. The game devs have decided, with Eve finally entering into the fray, Florp is going to be changed a little bit so that he's not the only dedicated healer. First things first, we're going to see a nerf to his dodges, his max charges going down to 2 from his initial 3 dodge charges. Splosion also went ahead and got a pretty major nerf. His heal amount nerfed from 380 all the way down to 320. Tharlin got a slight buff in that his gun range has been brought back up to a 26 meter max instead of the 24 it was previously nerfed to. The burrow ability got nerfed from 60 meters range to 35. However, as it is stated in the patch notes, 35 meters is the edge of the screen, so it's not really a nerf. Just like the other characters, when aiming the ability for more than 0.3 seconds, the camera will shift slightly up. In what has to be my favorite buff of the entire patch, Smoke Bomb for Fang is now going to buff his allies for 30% off for a total of 7 seconds in addition to the slowing enemies down, which means that you can now use it not just offensively to try and land your fetches better, but also defensively to keep your team alive, a little more damage mitigation, and, uh, and also a great way to try and engage in a fight. Flintlock gets a bit of a nerf as his double O's speed was nerfed from 12 meters a second down to 9. And again, like all other characters, when the ability is cast, the camera is going to shift slightly up and angle back. His Mysterious Liquid also had a slight rework where it's now a heal over time effect rather than a straight heal. If an ally is hit or walks over the Mysterious Liquid, they're going to be healed for 200 health over 3 seconds. Xandark is getting a fairly substantial nerf in their backstab ability. Prior, when backstab was being released, you couldn't use it unless you actually hit a character, so you were able to just spam until you managed to land it. Now, if you don't land it on an enemy character, it is going to teleport you nonetheless. The move is going to go off no matter where you put it. It's just will it do damage. If you miss, it becomes a teleport and you may end up in the middle or the back of the enemy team. Could be a pretty bad situation to find yourself in Xandark, an exceptionally squishy character. But once again, that's that's probably fair. Xandark was a really, really powerful character and there was really no negative. You would just use your backstab to get in and then dodge out and pretty consistently get kills every single team fight. They also managed to get through a couple more bug fixes. There are some known issues that they still need to work on. What do you guys think are the best changes? Are you happy with the direction the game's going? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching all the way through to the end. Make sure you're liking, subscribing, and ring that notification bell if you don't want to miss any future Super Squad content coming into the channel. Till next time, we'll see you on the battlefield.